What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I have another special co-star for you guys. Hi guys. So I have Karen with me. For those of you guys who don't know, Karen is my nephew's girlfriend. So they, she's been in the family for years you guys. So she's part of the family and you guys have been requesting it since you guys seen it on our Instagram story. You guys have been requesting for Karen's Agua Fresca. So Karen, what kind of uh, agua are we gonna make today? Okay, so basically let me tell you guys a little backstory on this, okay? So me and Ruben went to go get tacos one day and you guys know how they have the little agua set up, the Agua Fresca, so oh, the yeah. and everything. So I seen this water, right? And I was like, oh my God, like it looks so good. Tasted it, it was delicious. And then a week later we were gonna have a carne asada, so I was like, oh my God, everyone needs to try this water, so I'm gonna make it for them. So I found a recipe and I tried it and sure enough, everyone loved it. Literally there was nothing left the day after, like there was nothing left in the container. Yes, so I'm right. glad everyone loved it. And we were getting tons of requests from you guys mm -hmm. to share the recipe. So here we are now. Yeah, and you guys, I po we posted that story like months ago and you guys still hit yeah. me up for the recipe till this day. So I told Karen, you know what, right now will be perfect because everyone's trying to impress their suegra and their families. So since the holidays are here, this is perfect. Aww. If you guys want to take this um, to your next family gathering. And then by the way, you guys, this recipe is super easy. Literally, it will take you like 10 minutes once you have everything prepped. So it's like the perfect recipe to take to your loved ones, um, especially for the holidays because you know, it's our one. I feel like it's something different. You know, everybody yes. takes like a sweet. For those of you guys who don't speak Spanish, agua fresca basically, I don't know if you, I'm, everyone has been to a taco shop. And you know, they usually have um, fresh water, like natural water. And it can be sweetened with like cucumbers or watermelon or strawberries. But the water that we're making today is going to be made with strawberries, you guys. So this is a Mexican water recipe. So, all right guys, let's get into it. We're gonna show you guys what you're going to need. You're going to need milk. You are going to need um, water. Esencia de vainilla. You're only gonna need a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna need vanilla extract, yeah. guys. And then red food coloring. This is to give that color like that extra pinkish look and I think this is important only because it makes people like crave your water you know because it looks like super pink so that and then we also got carnation milk and then we got lechera I love lechera you guys and then sugar and we do also have strawberries I think that the strawberries are really important and the more you have the better because this is like the main ingredient this yes. is going to give your water the taste you know, so we did buy, we have six boxes of strawberries here, but we're gonna start off with four and see if that's enough. And then if we feel like it needs extra strawberries in there, then we'll just add more. The recipe that we're making, the measurements might not fill up the container that we got it, but we just got the container because we wanted to, we wanted to give you guys the full agua fresca experience, okay? So, the jarra might not be filled up all the way, but we got to so you guys get the full experience. So, all right, um, Karen, so what's going to be the first thing we're going to do? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is wash the strawberries. These are all the strawberries we have, you guys. We have all these boxes. You guys do want to pick out the strawberries that are like the most red because that's what's also going to give your, your agua fresca that vibrant color that you're looking for. Mm, I could already taste it. Those strawberries look so amazing right now and they're so bright. Oh my god. And you guys, we got the whole family here waiting. Even Brittany, she was yeah. like, oh my god, I'm not leaving until I get a cup of the agua fresca. Dude, I think last time I had like three cups of your agua. Brianna was telling me that um, she woke up the morning after craving the agua. So she got up in the morning and came to get a cup of Okay, let's start with these and then we'll add this one. So okay, cool. So far, we're gonna use four and I'll let you guys know if we add more. So you're actually supposed to put the salt first and then mix it in the water, but since we already poured it in, okay. we're gonna put salt after. Okay, we're got it. Let it sit for a little bit and all the dirtiness, the bacteria, and everything should come out. And then we'll rinse it one more time just to get that salty 
taste off. Okay. And then we'll start chopping them. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Karen was like, you've never heard of washing your strawberries with salt? And I was like, no, Karen, but now I feel dirty that I've been eating my freaking... My strawberries like that this whole time. Like, why didn't no one teach me that before? Ruben also, um, I was telling Ruben, like, oh my god, we need to wash the strawberries with salt. And he was like, or vinegar. So vinegar is also an option. Uh -huh. I just like salt because I feel like vinegar does have a very strong, like, Oh, smell. like, it, yeah, it does. Yeah. Karen, she's applied the salt. You're supposed to, you guys, I'm sorry, you're supposed to pour the water, mix in the salt, and then do the strawberries, but I totally forgot. So we're gonna do it the opposite yeah. way. And we'll just mix it in. Rinse them a couple times, but I just wanted to show you guys. So if you guys do clean them, um, make sure that you guys rinse them a couple times just to make sure you get rid of all the salt on it. Salt too was for the pesticides that they add onto the strawberries. So oh yeah, we're getting rid of the pesticides, guys. All right, guys. So now what are we doing, Karen? So now we're gonna pick out maybe like ten, ten to the side. And these are going to be for the decor. So these are going to be sliced up and they're going to basically just be at the top. Um, you know, just so the water can look pretty. Okay. And then these over here, we're going to chop into little squares because these are the ones that we're going to blend. Ooh, so okay. let's start off by taking off the little tail and then you'll do the squares and I'll do the slices. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So um, I'm chopping them up in squares here. Yeah. Okay. We also, this is also why we got um, an extra box of strawberries because if you want to add more slices of strawberries as decor, then you know, you can always get that extra box and just cut them up and add more. You can add whatever amount you want. I love strawberries, you guys. But I think my favorite fruit is mango. What about yours, Karen? I like tuna. You like tuna? Yeah, the cactus fruit. You know what? That's great. I never... Well, you know what? My mom loves tuna. Yeah, I love tuna. You know, I never really tasted them before, but my mom always eats them, and Josiah started eating them, actually. So, Brittany will, like, cook his up with, like, that meat and stuff. That's how I eat my... And that's how I tasted it, and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Is this, like, cool, Karen, or are they yeah, too big? Good. It doesn't have to be, like, really specific, because we're going to add it to the blender. Oh! Okay, yeah. I know what we're doing. So we could be lazy choppers for this, yeah, guys. Yeah, lazy choppers. Okay, this is gonna go, this side is going to the blender. And then I'm cutting the strawberries like this, slices, just okay. so they can, um, you know, be at the top and they can look pretty. And you guys, you guys have been harassing me for Karen's pasta that she makes for the carne asada too. Yeah. So when she first gave me the recipe, I like did a video, but she has an upgraded one now. Yeah, so, so basically the recipe that um, I learned first, because the one she did was the one that I learned first, and that one my aunt made for her birthday one day, and it was really, really good. So I was like, oh my God, you need to pass me the recipe. So she gave me the recipe, but I would always call my mom and my aunt um, because there were so many steps and I would forget yeah. it. I would be like, oh my God, like I totally forgot, can you send me the recipe, right? So I think my mom got tired of it and she basically sent me a recipe that is way easier to do. Mm -hmm. But there has only like a couple steps. Okay. And it tastes exactly the same. And so I was telling Piki that we can make mm -hmm. that version because it's super easy. Um, but it tastes the same. Yeah, guys. So that's going to be our next collab. I've been trying to do more collabs with people because I know you guys want to see more action on my channel. So thank you so much, Karen, by the way, for doing this video with me. And you guys, I'm also going to put Karen's info in the description box. Ruben and Karen um, actually have a channel together. So if you guys remember my nephew Ruben, he's the one that did the Philly cheesesteaks with me. And I'll make sure to put her Instagram so you guys can follow her on Instagram. Yeah, you guys, and I'm always trying out like new recipes. Um, and usually like I'll like make them for like, you know, family barbecues like the Awa and the Chipotle. So if you guys ever see another like recipe that I make, let Vicky know and we can always like make a video about it. Yeah, and you guys, Karen cooks clean, cooks. I know how to cook, but your girl don't know how to cook clean. So. But I follow 
this page on Instagram that talks about like what's in your milk and like what's oh. in your like what's in juices and yeah. like, what's in chips, you know? And I feel like, you know, you read into it and you're like, you get scared. And you're like, oh my god, like I don't I don't wanna eat that no more because I don't wanna get sick, I don't wanna get cancer, yeah. you know. But it's like everything nowadays is bad for you, but I guess it motivates you a little bit to eat cleaner. So I feel like that's why lately like I've been trying to stick to like clean food. So uh Karen, according to Ruben, he cooks sometimes in the house. Is he lying? No, actually, like Ruben, I'm very blessed that he like was around so many girls growing up because he helps out a lot. Dude, he, he lot. girl, he had this down when I um when I did the video with him, like he was so organized, he cleaned up after himself. Yeah, no, yeah, he's he's very helpful. Like the other day, um he cooked something and like right after he cooked, he washed the dishes too. Oh wow. Usually like usually we'll split it up or like usually I'll cook and I'm the type of person that I like to clean as I go, right? So yeah. I'll cook something and I'm like, okay, now I gotta wash the dishes because I don't like to see the mess. But yeah, that day Ruben he like he cooked. Him, first talking shit about him. He no. cooked and he did the dishes. So yeah, he's very helpful. So I feel like that's why I'm blessed that he grew up with girls because yeah. he knows, you know? Yeah, you know what though, Karen? He be getting away with shit with my mom because he'll be like, serve me with my mom. But I think it's because she babied him yeah. growing up. Like, he knows who to he knows do, who that, do that, that shit with. Yeah. He don't do that shit with me. Not me either. Even over here, like when, when they cook, he'll be like, oh, um, babe, do you want me to serve you? Like, he, he tries to. Oh, well, that's cute. Like, you know, like, okay, yeah. like, let me help you out. Like, let me, let me serve you. And yeah, you know what? I feel like if I went to a guy's house, like, and it's the first time, like, I go, uh, well, maybe the first couple times, I'm a little shy. <laughs> so I'll be like, you know, can you serve me? Yeah. Because I feel like I'm a little embarrassed, you know, like, to just go serve myself. But then when we go to my families, I'm like, okay, like, I'm gonna serve you. You know, because it's all, yeah. I feel like it's always, like, the opposite. The family. opposite, yeah. yeah. Because they get a little shy. Yeah, that, yeah, I think it goes both ways. Yeah. We, like, both, both sides get shy. Okay. But I don't know why, because I've been with Ruben for seven years now. Yeah. So. You guys have been together for a long time. Yeah, we have. Since we were 18. That's good, Karen. Yeah. You gotta you gotta get him young. Well, you're young too. Because yeah. now, trust me, girl, there ain't nothing left out here. Dude, and it's crazy because when I was young, like I would always look at these couples and I'm like, oh my god, they've been together for five years? Like yeah. 10 years? I could never, you know, because I'm like, that looks hard to be with someone for that long. Yeah. And I look back and I'm like, oh my god, I've been with Ruben for seven years. I don't know. But I feel like he makes it easy. That's good. Like for seven years, yeah. Hopefully one day I get lucky. You will, Vicky. There's someone for everyone. Cause look, you're real bad right now, girl. Real bad. So hopefully. But you know what? There's no time limit. You're right. There's no time limit. You know, and everybody like finds their love at their own pace. You know? Yeah. It just sucks how society makes you think like, oh my god, you have to do the yeah. right certain age. But it's like, dude, just you do shit like at your time when you're ready. Yeah. Because you know what? Actually, lately. Like, I've been feeling kind of rushed to like have a baby. Really? And I, I'm only 25. I mean, I feel like that's young. Yeah, that's right. young, Karen. So I'm like, oh my God, like, I am feeling like pressured, but in my head, I'm like, no, like, relax, like, you're still young. Yeah, you you're know? still young. And you know, don't, like, you do it whenever you're ready. Don't let no one, like, you know? Yeah, and it's crazy though, because some days I wake up and I'm like, I don't want kids right now, you know, yeah. maybe maybe in a few years, but then like it'll be like a holiday, like Halloween, and I'm yeah. like, oh my god, I want a baby so I can dress them up and take them trick-or-treating, yeah. you know, that's what I really want. No, I feel you, Karen. Yeah, I could see you guys definitely having some kids. Yeah. Ruben would be a really good dad, I feel like. Yeah. He has a lot of patience for kids. Yeah. He don't have that much patience for adults, but he has patience for kids. I feel like I'm the same way. I have no patience for adults, but I have a lot of patience for kids. Mm -hmm. And because you know, like you know, they're little. People think because like you're like you don't have patience for certain people, they think that you're probably gonna be bad with kids. But if anything, you have more patience for kids. All right, guys. So here are our strawberries. These are going in the blender, and then. These will be going, where, where are those going again, Karen? At the top of the water, they're just gonna float to look pretty. Oh, okay, the decorations, I and forgot. 
said we were gonna start with 10, but honestly, the more I, the more you add, I feel like the prettier it looks. So I probably did a good like 20. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So we're gonna add those at the top. So for now, we're gonna put the strawberries to the side and we're gonna start focusing on making the actual water. Okay, cool. All right, Karen, so what are we doing? Okay, so now we're gonna get started with the water. We put the strawberries to the side. So in our container, we're gonna add our four cups of milk. We're gonna add a vanilla extract, our uh, evaporated milk, our condensed milk, sugar, and we're gonna do three fourths of sugar. So we're gonna mix all that in, mix it, and then after that, we blend our strawberries, and then we mix it all together. Okay, cool. So how many cups of water did you say is in here? So this is four cups of milk. Okay, oh, death. I don't know what's wrong with me. Four cups of milk, okay. Not water, milk. My bad. All right, let's see. Do you need help, Karen? Yeah. Okay. Or should I just do it really fast? I can help her. Do you want to help her? Yeah. Okay. Special appearance over here. All right, so what you have to do is you got to do it really fast. Okay. Ruben's ready. He's ready to work. So we added that in. Okay. Uh -huh. we'll add three-fourths of sugar. Okay. Then we're gonna do the cheddar. And then these, um, if you at the end like taste your water and you feel like you want to add a little bit uh, more to the cheddar, you guys can add whatever amount you think it needs to. Cause that makes it sweet too, yeah. huh? I love the cheddar. Oh my god. That's why we only use three quarts of sugar because we are going to be using a lot of ingredients that have a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. so it's going to evaporated milk. Okay. We definitely needed a, a smaller fucking jug, but sorry guys, but you guys get it. You guys get the point. You guys get the vision. We're gonna do the vanilla extract, and we're gonna do a spoonful of this. Okay. And that's a tablespoon, right? Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna mix all this together. So we got our little spoon, our big spoon. And we're just gonna mix it all together. Oh, it already looks nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. This is basically like the same thing as fresas con crema. Oh, I love fresas con crema. Okay, so now after mixing that, we're gonna move on to blending our strawberries. And remember, we're gonna blend the ones that are into little squares. Okay. Saya! You guys, my mom used to do this with me when I was little because I love the la, la lechera so much. But she wouldn't let me eat too much of it because it's like super sweet. So she would always give me like the leftover. Here. Don't cut yourself, okay? Get a spoon or something. Is it good? Yeah. Bomb. You know that used to be Peaky's favorite snack too when I was your age? Back in the day, in the 1900s. Dude, you know what my brother would do? My mom would like use it for like pancakes or whatever, right? And she would store it in the fridge. Uh -huh. She would just put like, you know, clear wrap on there. Dude, two weeks later, she would need it again to make something else. It was gone. My brother would drink that like milk. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what, Karen? Not to lie, I think I drank it like that a couple times, but my mom would get pissed at me yeah. too. Because it has hella sugar, but it is hella good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, you want to do a taste test? Come do the taste test for the camera. So, we gave Saya strawberry a slice and he's going to put it in his lechera. To my American friends, you guys need to try it on lechera. It's so bomb if you haven't tried it. Bomb? Step oh, yeah. is five cups of water, right? So, it's a lot of strawberries to blend into um, the blender all together. So we're gonna split it. We're gonna put half the strawberries in the blender with half the water. 
And then we're gonna do it again with the other half, and then we just add all that into the base that we just made. Oh my god, it smells amazing, you guys. We picked out, or Fiki picked out really good strawberries. They're so sweet. Cedar broke, guys. They're a little expensive, but their produce is really good. Right there. All right, so I washed my hands, guys. So we're gonna put half the strawberries, he says. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, let's see. Hopefully, oh, well, you tell me when, Karen. Right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then half the water. So remember, this is five cups of water. Okay. Five cups of water, you guys. Oh shoot! I'm sorry, Karen. I tried to do it fast, how Ruben said, and I messed up. <laughs> he put the whole container in there. Did you wash them, Pa? Oh, huh. Oh my fuck, I just sacrificed the box, Karen. The what? I just sacrificed the box. No, I think we'll be good. Okay. We'll be good. I'm like, I did it for a good cause. I gave it to the kids. Yeah. Plus, we used more strawberries than. So, we ended up using four pounds, you guys. Four pounds of strawberries. Mm -hmm. Wait, what were you? What happened? Do you want a strawberry? He's yeah. snitching guys on Jaden. I don't know what he did, but. God, give him a strawberry. Stop being stingy. What? Give him a strawberry. I can get some. Okay, so then we're gonna blend this um, together. Okay. Oh, He's snitching, Jaden. All right, guys, so I put this in the blender for about two minutes. And this is your texture, okay? It smells amazing, you guys. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could smell this. Okay, so then we're going to add this onto our base. Ouch. Oh, it's already so pink. Pretend this is a smaller container, you guys. We tr I try to be bougie and we try to do something nice, but it kind of backfired on us. But we let's say that you guys are working with a container this big, just double up on ingredients and it'll probably fill it up to here. Yes. So, this is how much you're going to get with what we made. Okay, guys, so now the last few steps we got our red food coloring, which is going to make this pink agua be a little more brighter and it's gonna make people like crave the water. We got our strawberry slices that are gonna be floating at the top and then we got our ice. So let's start off with the food coloring. Um, we're gonna add a little bit. It's, this isn't required, but like I said, it does make your water like look really pretty. So. so you guys don't have to add it if you guys don't want the food coloring. But you guys are gonna see the difference that it does make in your water, okay? So like, look at the water now. It's like a really light pink color. So after we have the food okay. coloring, so let's start off with like five drops. Okay, so she put about five drops in. Okay. okay. I did maybe like 10. You guys are matching, Karen. Yeah, I tried to match for the video. Yeah. yeah, girl, you sure did. Okay, guys, so now we're going to put the ice in the water. And um, the water is sweet enough for the water, like the ice, in case it does melt, it'll still taste good. So we made it like extra sweet. For if the ice does melt, it still tastes. Yeah, so make sure you guys keep that in mind when you're making the agua. Um, take into account that you're gonna put ice in it, so it's gonna water down. So make sure you guys make it a little more sweet than you would usually do. Okay, guys, so we added the ice, and now we're gonna add the strawberries. There's no specific order in how you add those, but we thought maybe the ice would kind of hide the slices, so we're gonna um, add slices now after adding the ice. 
Oh, that looks delish, Karen. Brittany is still here. Um, Waiting for the awa, you guys. So. Oh my god, yeah, me and Karen got stuck in the cheese mix. Yeah. We can't, we had to leave it off camera. I mixed it, but just slightly so that way, like, the strawberries can, um, you know, float at the top still. If you guys look at it from this angle, you guys can see the strawberries up there. Oh my god, yes, I like it so, a lot. Food coloring makes a huge difference, I feel like, because it was way lighter before we added it. So, just that vibrant color makes yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Want it, you know? You're right. So now, let's try it. Oh my god, it's time to try it? Okay. You guys, Karen is so fucking cute. Look at how she hooked up my agua. Like, look at that. Oh my god, tell me that don't look amazing, girl. Oh my god, thanks, Karen. Taste test, Brett. Brett's here. Yeah, Brett, do a taste test. Okay, I'm, like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> For like three hours. Let's get right into it. Okay. We haven't even tried it, so. Oh, I'm first, okay. Um. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking good. Is it? Oh my god, I can't wait to taste that. Dude, it's fire. Okay. I really like it. I swear to god, it's yeah. good. Like, I think like, I don't know if it's I've been craving it. Alright, my turn. I can definitely like have a, I want this one. <laughs> I don't know, Brad. <laughs> I, that, I need to take a picture first. <laughs> Alright you guys, you guys know what time it is. It's from my freaks. Alright, me and Karen are going to do my famous fetish bites. Well, it's not a fetish bite, it's a fetish sip. A fetish sip. Alright, so let's do cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, you guys. It's like sweet, but it's refreshing. It's not like overly sweet. It's like natural sweet, like yeah. bomb, you guys. Like, and it's like every time you take a sip, you get a little slice of strawberry in there. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm going in. This is my second cup. I'm over here trying to do little pictures and stuff to promote my drink and I turn around and Karen's already like done with her freaking Dude, drink. Dude, it's crazy because you take a sip and you want more. Like it's mm. addicting. Mm -mm. Wow. I give us a 10 out of 10. Ruben, you want to try it? Of course. I'll be the judge you want of this. The Let me see. You gotta do it. And I'm gonna tell you guys the sip. truth. Oh, okay, it's awesome. Yeah, you guys are true. Wait, let's tell you. You guys made that much? We're really supposed make to more. be a smaller container. <laughs> we're gonna make more, guys. Don't worry. Everyone's already having a heart attack that we're gonna run out. I finished Here, my milk. It. it was so good. It's bomb, friend. Oh, well, we might throw up. We've been drinking and drinking milk. But this is natural, so. Yeah. It's really good. I taste like strawberry milk. That's fine. fine. That's really but like, refreshing. refreshing. But like it's 10 good. times better. Strawberry no, milk, but 10 times really better. It's really refreshing. Bomb, you guys. I like you. I even got half of strawberries in here. Um, yeah, Brett was supposed to go home already, but she's holding the amino hostage. Dude, yeah, the amino's like, we've been here for three hours. It's really like almost 12. <laughs> and I was like, we've been waiting since. I don't know, because you know how like the vlogging process and all that goes? I was like, I don't care. Like, we're going to stay here until this is done. Because it could have easily told me to bring me some later, but I was like, dude, I've been craving it. I'm going to have it. Like, I swear I've been said. craving it. Just try it. No, this don't. ain't no fucking licuado. I think, huh? I think he, he pictures it as a licuado. He wants a licuado. You want a smoothie? Yeah. We might have to edit that out. So. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much Karen for coming okay. out. People have been harassing me for this recipe. So I think this is perfect, especially if the girls want to stunt on their suegras, yeah. right? Yeah, no for sure. And it's like super easy. Everybody's going to love it and it's all natural so all natural guys so and Karen also 
we need to do the pasta recipe. So yeah, and you guys, that one is super easy. I, whenever mm. I cook or I make something, I always look for recipes that don't take up a lot of time. You know, because you know people are always like on the go. Mm. So if you guys want that chipotle pasta, the easy version, then let us know down below. Yes, guys, and also I'm gonna put Karen's info in the description box. So make sure you guys. Check out uh, her and Ruben's channel. What's your guys' channel, Karen? It's Ruin K Vlogs. Yes, and I'll also put her Instagram in the description box so you guys can give her a follow. So if you guys make this recipe, make sure you guys send us a video and tag me and Karen. Um, I will repost you on my story. Um, no, if you guys try it though, let us know how you guys like it. Yeah, so don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel. Bye guys.